one of the most important components of a winning Google ads campaign is proper location targeting. I would argue that one of the reasons overall that Google ads is such a powerful marketing tool is because it, it really, if you think about it, was the one of the first marketing tools where you could go on a map and actually physically draw a line around exactly where you wanted your ads to show up. You know, when this first came out, that concept was revolutionary. Now we kind of all take it for granted. Um, but there are quite a few considerations in how to properly structure your location targeting. Um, I see this done a lot of different ways. We definitely have our belief on kind of the best way to approach it. Um, and I've put some different options on here and we're going to talk about the kind of benefits and drawbacks of, of each one. So generally the way that I've put these in is in descending order of effectiveness. So that the top is what we typically see is like the most effective if it fits your goals. The bottom is typically the least and here's why. So obviously if you're targeting an entire state, this is very straightforward, right? If it's part of your campaign goals to target an entire state, you type that state in, the state shows up and you're able to advertise within the boundaries of that state. Now, where this gets a little bit more granular is the tighter of a location that you wanna focus on, there's a couple different ways to approach that. Um, what we end up using for the vast majority of our local service campaigns that have a service area smaller than a state is radius targeting. So the reason why is that what this allows you to do is literally go into the Google ads interface, put a pin on a map and program in how big of a radius around that pin drop do you want to service. The reason that we end up doing this is it's relatively straightforward to put those radius areas around specific cities, specific areas, and then you capture everywhere within that radius. Oftentimes when we see campaigns or inherit campaigns where they've tried to go by city or especially by zip code, this is what you end up getting and that can really limit the targeting of your ads. So obviously a lot of business owners or marketers think of their customer base in terms of the zip codes that they want to focus on. The problem with that is when you put in a big list of zip codes into the Google ads location targeting, oftentimes you get like this patchwork, um, like look to the locations that you're targeting. And what this is telling Google is we'll only target a user when they're in that exact zip code. And in a lot of Metro areas where the zip codes are very small because of population density, it can be hard in our opinion for Google to match up exactly users that are in that allowable area for the location. So it brings down the effectiveness of the overall account. So what we typically like to do, if the client's okay with it, obviously, is take their list of zip codes, plot it out, and then figure out radius targeting that encompasses the vast majority of those zip codes, but isn't as limiting as what this patchwork structure ends up being. So if you're running campaigns for local service business, I would highly encourage you to explore the pin mode functionality within Google ads and look at switching your location targeting to radius, uh, radius based targeting. I think that you'll be happy with what you see in terms of the increased volume, the increased visibility of your ads, as long as it's still consistent with your goals, obviously. But this is a, this is an issue that we commonly see that holds accounts back. One other thing I did want to call out, we've had a couple issues with this over the past few years is. I'd be very cautious of using the DMA regions within Google ads uh, for your targeting. The reason for that is obviously the state that I chose is that is where we're located in Minnesota. We're just west of Minneapolis. Um, if you if you put in the Minneapolis St. Paul DMA region in Google ads, this is what you get. So the DMA region for Minneapolis at least goes all the way up to the northern part of the state, which can be hours away from kind of the population center around Minneapolis, St. Paul, which is right here. We've inherited a couple campaigns where this was programmed in and they were getting a lot of leads that were outside of the service area. Um, because if you actually look at what that covers, it's far larger than what you would assume the Minneapolis, St. Paul DMA region uh, contains. So I hope this helps answer some questions. Um, 
moral of the story is there's a lot of different ways to target locations. We definitely have some of our preferred. I think if you can be state-based, that's the easiest, the most straightforward to cast as wide a net as you can if your service area does cover entire states. If it does not and it's smaller, I would default to radius targeting and then look at some of these other options from there if this is too broad for you. So if you've been working on targeting locations in Google Ads, I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks.